and you run your diesel heater on a blue eddy power bank the eb3a well the answer is yes but it takes a little bit of work to do it and you need something extra to make it happen Blue Eddy EB3A can provide up to 10 amps of current at 12 volts through its cigarette lighter output. You might be tempted to try to run your diesel heater off of that. Unfortunately, what's going to happen is the Blue Eddy EB3A power bank will shut off. You'll blow the breaker on the DC side. Even though the diesel heater is going to draw just about 10 amps or almost 10 amps, maybe it might even draw a little bit more. It's, it will be enough to set off this breaker. So what you need to do if you want to run your diesel heater off of one of these Blue Eddy EB3As is get one of these AC power adapters that furnish up to 30 amps of DC at 12 volts. I'm running mine at 13 volts. I adjusted the potentiometer to make that happen and check one of my other videos where I talk about this power, power supply. Now, is it wasteful to convert the DC power in this EB3A to AC power and then run the AC back over to a converter to get to DC? Yeah, it is. And that's unfortunate, but if you want to run your diesel heater off of this power bank, that's what you have to do. These things are about 20 bucks on Amazon, and I'm, in my opinion, they're worth it. So I'm going to turn on the diesel heater and we're going to find out what the current draw is on the DC side as the heater starts up. Now, as it starts up, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get it going. As it starts up, it's going to draw a lot more current than it normally draws when it's running. The reason is when it first starts up, it has to get the glow plug heated up, which is going to cause the diesel that's getting pumped in to catch on fire in the burn chamber. And then once that takes place and the fire in the burn chamber gets going, the glow plug shuts off and the current drops off significantly. So I've got a voltmeter hooked up here. We're seeing 13 volts. I'm not seeing any voltage drop at all. Let's take a look at the EB3A. It says it's putting out about 108 watts of AC. And this has a AC 120 volt 600 watt inverter in it. So this thing will be fine. And right now we're seeing over here on the clamp on DC amp meter about 8 amps of DC going through the positive side. Now, if you're going to use a clamp meter, you have to get one that uh, can read DC and you need to make sure you zero it out before you use it. Otherwise, you won't get an accurate reading. Now, this meter can uh, read up to 600 amps. DC, so it's it's good for this purpose. I've got it on the 60 amp setting. Right now we're upwards of eight, uh, almost almost nine, and I don't even I don't think we're going to hit ten on here. But trust me, I know if we try to power the diesel heater on startup out of the DC output here, it would shut off. So let me hit. The display there we're seeing 177 watts of AC so we're fine on, on the draw here and uh, seeing a slight voltage drop I'm down to 13.05 it could be a result of this uh, incredible digital multimeter that I've had for years in my garage let's see here yeah we're still at about eight but we'll see this drop off significantly when the heater heats up and gets going. Now the fan's going to run hot on high for a little while and then it too will shut down to its running it's running at the to the running setting which I've got set at 4.0 So we're yeah we're up almost at 10 almost there yeah we just went over 10 and now it just dropped down. So now we're about 2 and it's going to drop down a little bit further than that popped up over three. The light comes on when it gets over three. Three amps of current. And there we go. We're at three. And when, when you hear the fan kick down, you'll see that it will drop down. So the question is, converting the DC, DC over to AC with the inverter and the blue eddy, 
back over to the voltage converter over here. How much time is this going to run for? Well, that's a really good question. We're now, we started at 100%, we're now at 97%. The blue eddy is indicating that it will run for 3.3 hours, 3.4 hours, and that's going to drop again, and that may come up. So, this isn't really a great unit, in my opinion, if you need your heat to run for a long period of time. Uh, in a pinch, it, it will work. Uh, I would not use that to run for a long period of time. I, I just wouldn't count on it. That's plug into the wall. Pump. That is, of course, you have wall. Pump. So we're still up at three amps. It was uh, turning on and off. We're just over three right now. And then with some nice heat coming out. And now the fan's dropping down to its running speed. And our current draw is also dropping. And we're just about at uh, 1.7, 1.8. So something you don't hear a lot of people talk about with these diesel heaters is when they shut down, they also use the glow plug. And you'll see that we're drawing a significant amount of power, uh, about 8.4 amps, as it shuts down. So make sure you got plenty in reserve on your power bank if you're running off a power bank because it's going to take some current to shut this down properly. So do me a favor if you would, if you like this diesel heater content, I'm going to be doing many more videos about diesel heaters, maintenance on diesel heaters, um, different ways to hook them up. So do me a favor if you would, if you like the video, you like the content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you're notified when more content about diesel heaters and other stuff going on in the garage comes out. I really appreciate it.